Hey everyone, Elisa Jones here, and in this short video, I'm going to be giving you some tips for how you can find grants to apply for for your school music program. So let's jump right in. First, I want you to understand the method of approach that you should be taking. It should all start from your realm of influence outward. So if you're looking for money, you should always start with your own classroom, your program, your school, that those that are closest to you. So if you don't already charge a fee for your music class, or maybe you can't, that's you know sometimes the case, but if you can charge a fee, that's a great place to get kind of some seed money, okay? A little bit of an account that you can then use to leverage further funding. Next, you should be checking with your school PTA or PTO and make sure that they are aware that you need money because often that that's what they do is they fundraise. So if you tell them what you need, maybe they can um, fund that for you. I know my school PTO has funded recorder purchases and some ORF instruments and some resonator bells. So it's always a good place to start. Once you have money from them, then you can leverage that to get additional money from the next circle of influence out, which is people in your city, county, or district. It's a lot easier to ask businesses for money if you can say that your own school PTO or PTA is already contributing to those needs. Once you've tapped out those resources in your city, county, district, community, maybe your school district has a foundation that you could apply for money to, then you go for the national grants and international. I feel like sometimes we get so overwhelmed thinking that we have to apply for these great big grants and really your best opportunities are local and they're small, smaller grants. So let's take a look at how you can maybe find those. So let me get out of my PowerPoint here. I'm just going to start with Google and I'm going to teach you some hacks to make this a very quick thing to do. You can do it in you know, 10 minutes. Okay. Now I teach in Grand Junction, Colorado. So we're going to pretend that I am wanting to start a guitar program at my school because there isn't one. In fact, there's only band and there's uh, that's not always a great option for, for kids. Maybe they don't want to do band. So we're going to start a guitar program at my school. All right. And again, this is just hypothetical. So we're just going to start with Grand Junction Community Grants because that's what I want to go after. So I'm going to take a look at my options here. Western Colorado Community Foundation. I'm just going to quickly read. Does it look like there might be an opportunity here? There might be. So we're going to right click and open the link in a new tab. Okay. This is the same page, so we're not going to go there yet. Uh, grants, Junior Service League, they give out money to worthy organizations in Mesa County. This could be a good option for me, so I'm going to open that. Um, City of Grand Junction Arts Commission, that looks like a possibility, so right click, open that link in a new tab. Grand Junction Lions Club, that's a community foundation. It's a fantastic one that is probably going to give money to people, so let's open a link in a new tab. And I continue this process as I go down. You can see that some of these are really not applicable to me. I don't need a development block grant, right? I'm not going to be in the economic partnership realm. Uh, I'm not going to really do a lot with the uh, Western Colorado Congress. So I've kind of tapped out here, but I can also look down and see if there are any related searches, anything that looks like it might be applicable to me. None of these do, but we can go to our next level up, all right? So we might wanna look for arts grants or education grants or music education grants. Let's see if anything comes up. We're gonna skip now because they actually only do uh, by invitation only. So if you want to be involved with um, that, you can look up their web page, but I don't think it's going to be applicable for most of us. Okay. Uh, Colorado Mesa University Pell Grants. This is going to be more for students who are looking for grants to fund their education. So that's probably not going to work. So just use your, your kind of thinking and uh, figure out if any of these work for you. You can see hmm, Fender. That looks like a very good option, especially since I'm, it's going to be for, you know, guitar thing, right? Fender guitars makes sense. And you can continue down here and look at if there are any searches related or things that other people have looked for. 
Once we've tapped out Grand Junction, we can look for Colorado. Okay. And once we've tapped out Colorado, again, we're just right clicking on ones that look like they could be options and we're opening them in new tabs to look at further. Once we've tapped out Colorado music education grants or Colorado instrument grants or Colorado guitar grants, even we could just look for, um, once it's national level, we can just look for the actual item guitar grants. There's that Fender Foundation again, instruments we donate, corporate giving at Guitar Center, that looks like it could work for us, music grants and scholarships at Children's Music Workshop, that looks like a good option, teacher guitar workshop grants, well I'm going to need to learn how to teach guitar, so that would be great, um, guitars in the classroom. So you can see by already understanding what it is specifically I'm looking for, that helps me narrow down the grant opportunities that are going to be most applicable for my need. If I'm just looking for general music education grants without a specific ask, that's not going to be serving me well. It's going to be too far range. So let's go through our little shopping list here of tabs and hopefully you can, you can see that. Okay. So here's the Western Colorado Community Foundation. This is a local organization. So I'm going to explore grants. So my first hack is using that right click on ones that I think might be my best options and opening up my little shopping list of tabs. The second hack is to use the control F function on your browser window. Um, I honestly don't know what that is on Apple computers because I don't use them. So <laughs> I should probably figure that out. It's like a little twisty sign anyway. Uh, control F is what I use and you can use that to quickly search on the page to see if there's anything specific that might work for you. So we're looking for small grants because chances are good. We're using, we're only going to be affecting a small population. So I could look for small grants and look, there it comes up. I could look for arts. And if there were any on the page, it would come up. I could look for music. And if there were any on the page, it would come up. Okay. I might also want to look for deadlines because here this deadline is June 30th. And so I would have to kind of hustle to get that one in. But look, here's my small grant deadline is September 15th. So this could be a really great opportunity for me to get two to $500 for my program. And then I would just click here to submit an application and leave that open. So here is the Junior Service League. This is a national organization with local chapters. So it's a good one to go for. So we can look at grant guidelines, past grant recipients, grant tracking form. Again, we can use the control F to find out when is there a deadline that's not on that page. Okay. Let's see grant guidelines. Um, wow, those are really thorough. Let's see if we've got a deadline on this page. Deadline is in August. So I'm not going to be, I can, I can get it all prepared and then I'll add it to my calendar. I definitely want to sign up for their, um, email list so that I get notified when it's time. Okay. But this one's not going to be ready for me quite yet, but it's still a good option. So here is um, the Arts Commission uh, of the city. Arts program is now closed. Mm, okay, so that's not going to work for me either. But we could look through this and see what might be a good option. We can look at the criteria and goals. I can look through uh, sample budgets, forms, whatever it might be. Okay, or we can ask questions. Always, if you go through these and you're like, oh, that deadline's not going to work for me, but I'd love to be notified when it's going to work again, then you can sign up for their email list if they have one or follow them on Facebook. All right. Kind of stock your potential donors is always a great idea. Okay. Here's my Grand, Grand Junction Lions Club. Uh, process begins in October. That's fine. I'm in the summertime right now as I'm filling, filming this. So that means I could have um, an opportunity over the summer to write up 
a potential grant for the Lions Club. So already I have three potential grants, um, one where the grant is, is closed, but it could come open again, so four. And these are my most likely ones because they're local. All right, now this one is likely for me because it's guitar stuff and that's what I want to be funding for, right? So I can learn more about the grant. I can read up about it. I can do control F and look for specific things like when is the deadline, right? Or what's the um, eligibility? Eligibility. And that's going to really pinpoint for me on the page so I don't have to read the entire thing and save me time, okay? So you'll just continue going through all of these little shopping list kind of tabs and find the ones that are most likely to work for you and then open them up to the submission page. And ideally, you'll have all of your grant submission questions, um, which you can learn if you take my how to write a grant in 30 minutes or less uh, video, which you can find on professionalmusiceducator.com. Just search for grants and it's gonna be on almost any of those posts. And that will give you all the questions that you should have ready to go and you should be able to just fill these in very, very quickly. All right, so that is how you can find grants for your music program in about 10 minutes or less. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and email me. It's info at professionalmusiceducator.com. And let me know what you think about this video. You can also find me on Facebook at School Music CEO with Elisa Jones. And I'll be happy to answer any questions on there as well. Be sure to subscribe to this channel to continue getting more awesome training videos for music educators like you, just trying to make your life a little bit easier and your career a little bit longer. And I think that's all for now. Thanks for watching.